Before we get started with this video, I just want to let you all know that this mic was provided to me free of charge and my exchange in return is a honest review. So the mic is not paid for by me, but the opinions are all my own. They don't tell me what to say. Everything I say is straight, honest from me to you guys. Let's get into the video. What's up and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a product review, uh, something that Rocket has sent me. It is the Torch microphone, and this will be good for somebody who's streaming their gameplay, somebody who does Discord chat, somebody who does podcasting. This is a studio quality mic. Now I'm going to give you guys my breakdown of it. I'm also going to give you some samples of what each mode sounds like, and uh, yeah, let you guys decide for yourselves if this mic sounds good enough for you to pick up and buy. Now let's get into it. So first and foremost, let's go over the technical specs. It's got a sample slash bit rate of 48 kilohertz, 24 bit with optional selection for 44.1 kilohertz. There are two capsules. Um, pickup patterns are cardioid, stereo, and whisper. Uh, there's a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a max SPL of 110 decibels, and there's zero latency, and it uses a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, a lot of this stuff, I don't know, the the details and the nitty gritty of it so i'm not even gonna pretend like i do but let me tell you it is a studio quality mic and it definitely has a nice variety of pickup patterns that could work for pretty much any situation now i will go over the three before we take a look at the mic and then sample some of it so there's the stereo which is basically for capturing live instruments vocals asmr uh there's cardioid which is up close and personal kind of like the way we're doing right now then there's whisper which is for when you have to be your quietest and you still want people to hear you so it'd probably be pretty close up to you so let's take a look at the mic and so i can just show you what what the deal is with this thing so of course we've got the capsule right here it does come with a pop filter we'll see how well that works as we test it out um in my experience so far i'm impressed and then we got the mixer stand, which has a ton of options on it. So we have our pattern pickup, which uh, or pattern selection, which we can switch between whatever we want right on the fly on the mixer stand. We got our master volume where we can just change the volume levels and that'll impact also what's in our on our headphones as well. And then lastly, we also have our gain, which is great because sorry, I'm trying to get that in there for you. The gain, which you can easily control right on. And these buttons feel really high quality like they do not feel cheap in any way we also have a mute button which would be right here just click it in it's going to mute it for you you can also mute by waving your hand over the top which you will see this sensor right here will do that for you and then we also have a bunch of stuff happening on the back with the ports and i hope you guys can see that so on the far right right here we have the headphone jack then we have our USB to USB-C to the computer. This middle one connects to the microphone, so which you can is a very good point. You can actually disconnect this capsule. There we go. You can actually disconnect this capsule and you can put it on a boom arm like I have on this. And then you can actually use a long USB, which it also comes with to connect it to connect it to the mixer stand. So they give you everything you need to use this mic in any situation, which is more than most companies will do. And then lastly, on the left, we have another volume control and we have our RGB color uh, luminosity. So how, how, how bright it is really. All right, so let's start off with testing the cardioid pattern, right? So this is going to be the pattern that you're likely going to be using if you're doing streaming, podcasting, stuff like this. So this is the setting, this is at max gain. And this is going to be interesting as I have not heard this back yet. So it's going to be all up to your guys' judgment. And you can let me know what you guys think of this. So this is the cardioid pattern. And when you put it on the cardioid pattern, you can actually see this green light right above here. I'm going to give you guys a look at it afterwards as well. So you can really see how bright the colors can get. There's a lot of light in this room, so you probably can't see just how vibrant it is. But it does get very vibrant. And so when you switch between patterns, you're also going to notice the colors are going to change. So just as an example, we're gonna to switch to the stereo pattern. Here we go. So now it's gone to purple, as you can see. And this purple pattern is actually going to be, 
ideal for, as they said, for instrumentals, ASMR, like uh, instruments, like th this is the kind of thing that you would use it for. You would, wouldn't really use this in a case of, I guess if you were streaming or in a Discord chat or something like that, you'd really be using this more so for, for instruments and stuff like that, or ASMR if that's what you're into. Um, but overall, this isn't my go-to mode. Now there is one other mode and that is the whisper is what they call it. And this is more for if you wanna be in a, be quiet, but at the same time be heard, uh, depending on if you have kids that are sleeping or whatever it may be, or roommates, this is going to be ideal for that. Let's switch on over to that. So here we go. And here we are. We are officially in whisper mode. Now I wonder how quiet that sounds for you guys. As always, I'm telling you, that this is in the same distance. This is going to be the same uh, gain, same everything. So there's no changes. We're just switching the pattern, which is, I guess, for the, the bigger thing here uh, for the changes that we're going to notice. Now, so why don't we do a little bit of a whisper challenge? So I'm gonna whisper and I'm gonna talk quietly because you know, this is uh, this is what the, the setting is made for. It's to test out this quiet quality, quiet mode. Here we are, we're talking quietly. Does it make more sense? I don't know, but here it is. All right, so let's go back up to our a, uh, our cardioid pattern, which is the most used for these kind of things, right? Streaming, Discord, all this great stuff. Um, and that's it, those are the patterns, guys. Those are the patterns that you are going to use with this microphone. So next up, I wanna show you guys just what this mic looks like. Uh, when you have different settings applied and what happens with the gain and uh, I think you guys be impressed with the quality of it in terms of how bright the lights get and everything um, I would love to turn off the lights and show you but my webcam just isn't built that way without proper lighting It's gonna look like like garbage. So I'll show you guys what it looks like um, And I'll switch between the modes I've already shown you that the color does change between each one and then the vibrancy will change as well or the brightness will change uh, with the gain switch. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. Show you guys how that goes. So that's what it looks like when you use this mic in uh, different modes, right? And if you, you've got the gain up, down, doesn't matter. If you wave your hand over the top of the mic, it's going to mute it like this. And there, we're back. Now, obviously my hand was a little too high on the first one, but the second time, it seemed to have uh, done the trick there for us. In terms of mic use and when I would use this mic, why I would use this mic uh, when I have the MV7 over here, it would be to kind of not have something in my face when I'm streaming or if I'm playing a, a kind of game. So, to be honest, the, the quality and everything, I would almost feel more comfortable making videos with this mic over using my MV7 in certain circumstances. Like if I was doing my uh, Returnal video or my uh, Ghost of Tsushima video where I am playing a game on camera, I probably wouldn't use the MV7. I would probably use this instead uh, just based on the quality alone that I've experienced. So overall, in a nutshell, this mic for the value I think is a great mic. I think that if you're looking to stream, if you're just looking for a mic for Discord chats or whatever it may be, I think it's a great option. And I definitely would recommend it now, lastly, I do want to throw in this, this little tidbit here because it is a pretty big deal, at least to me. Uh, with this base, you know, if you've got it on a base and it's it's got a stand, that's its stand, that's what you're going to use. You can accidentally hit it. It is immune, I'm going to say immune to vibrations for the most part, unless it's like massive vibrations, maybe, but for the most part, it does not pick up vibrations in the mic, which is very impressive uh, because I can't see the same for a lot of other microphones that I've used that use a stand. So this is something that uh, it truly does have the quality that you want in a microphone. But I'd love to hear from you guys. What did you think of these samples that I gave you of the mic? What do you think of the 
RGB, what do you think of all these different things that we discussed in this video? And would you be looking to pick this mic up, uh, you know, maybe for your streaming, maybe for just Discord chats, maybe for anything that would use audio podcasting, maybe? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.